What's going on, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Three Wide with Tom Ludemoser. I am your host, Tom Ludemoser. So a follower of mine on Instagram is the one that gave me the idea for this video. Uh, this video, we're going to talk about the silly season for 2021 for the Xfinity series. Uh, I wanna, So I want to thank uh, New Jersey Diecast on Instagram for uh, giving me that idea. Uh, so here we go. Let's uh, let's start. Personally, I don't believe there's going to be a ton of difference in the Xfinity series going into next year. I think kind of it's going to remain pretty stagnant uh, with some other drivers, young and coming drivers from the truck series potentially moving up to some smaller scale rides. Uh, but other than that, just some places that I don't really see uh, a ton of movement. So first, I want to talk about Chase Briscoe. So Chase Briscoe obviously won the race the other day uh, against Kyle Busch. So clearly, this guy's got some talent. Um, he's also got some luck on his side. So I'll be honest about that. Um, Chase Briscoe, I don't see him going anywhere. I see him staying with Stuart Haas Racing again for another year um, with the potential to move up. Uh, like I said in my last video, which you can check out, and I will probably put it right about here somewhere towards the end of this video. Um, I think he's got the potential to go to either the 14 car or the 10 car at the end of the year if something uh, changes or we learn something about those two contracts, uh, retirement of Clint Boyer, um, the, the the fallout, the bankruptcy of Smithfield, who is pretty much single-handedly sponsoring uh, Eric Almarola's tenure in the 10 car. Uh, so I can see him potentially going up, but if those two rides don't vacate, take it to the bank. He is not going anywhere. You know he likes being in that really good equipment. Um, next one is going to be Harrison Burton. Again, another one I don't see going anywhere. Um, I don't see anybody being able to come in and steal him from Coach Joe. Uh, I think he's a good young talent. He's got to win. Uh, but we'll see how that goes as well. Um, Joe has a kind of a history of letting people go when they absolutely should not. But he also has a history of stealing some really good drivers. Uh, for example, Kyle Busch. Uh, but I do not see him going anywhere. He stays in Joe Gibbs Xfinity. Next up, Ross Chastain. Hands down, he doesn't go. Uh, he does not stay in Xfinity full time. Um, I think he goes out. He makes a run for the championship this year. I think he gets there. Now, whether or not he wins it is yet to be seen uh those colleg racing cars are very very fast uh, very very good cars and they have improved year over year and even with the help of ross chastain last year so we'll kind of see how that one uh, evolves how that goes on uh, i do see him going up to cup i could see him going to either the, the 48 car the 42 car um the, the 14 or the 10 the two um you know the, even the two car potentially um, I don't see him. I don't see him staying in our Xfinity. He loves running each and every race every week, which is awesome. All power to him. Uh, so I don't see him leaving Xfinity. I just don't see him staying there for a, a, a full time competition to win the championship. Is what I mean by that. Um, next up, Austin Cindric, another great driver, great young talent. Uh, I think he needs another year or two before they bring him up to Cup Series. Uh, if you guys know anything about me, you know that I am a diehard fan of Xfinity drivers proving themselves before they go up to Cup. Uh, I, I hate these drivers who go out, they have a flash of brilliance, and then, boop, right up to Cup. That drives me nuts, <laughs> um, i.e. William Byron. Um, but... Yeah, I, I don't see uh, I don't see him moving up. I see him staying with Penske Racing uh, for the foreseeable next couple of years, potentially in the Xfinity Series. If not, um, the the one thing I can kind of potentially see is Ryan Blaney being moved to the two car, and then bumping uh, Cindric up to the tw up to the twelve. I see that as the dark horse options. I don't see that as a surefire thing. But if it happens, that's what I can potentially see happen happening. Um, next one is going to be Daniel Hemrick, uh, who is running a part-time schedule for Junior Motorsports this year. He had a, a pretty good race uh, the other day. Um, 
Again, no flash of brilliance. The guy's yet to win a race in the Xfinity Series, which is an absolute shame. I think he's a good driver. I think he's a, a good dude. Um, so I see him with the potential to take over that ride full-time next year. Um, Zane Smith, I don't see him. I mean, I could, maybe. I think Zane Smith needs some more time in the truck series before he gets bumped to a junior motorsports ride. Um, one driver that in particular that I just absolutely cannot see bumping into that car, um, unfortunately, and, and he's the next one I want to talk about is Brett Moffitt down on the truck series. Moffitt's got a ton of starts through each series, uh, a few starts in cup. He's got a nice handful of starts in the Xfinity series. Uh, he's had some decent runs in the Xfinity series. I think if you just give him some decent equipment, he can go on and build on that. And potentially move up but he's been in the series or in NASCAR for a very long time and he hasn't gotten those good rides and gotten them bumps up I think Brett Moffitt could be someone to to keep an eye on obviously truck series champion um, he went out and he raised Hattori Racing uh, and then they gave him the gave him the shaft which is really un unfortunate to see um, so, but I, I do see him being a really good driver, but in my opinion, he stays at GMS uh, with a potential to do what he did a few years ago, and that is run a race or two with their partner over at uh, Junior Motorsports. Next one I want to talk about is the one that a lot of people are saying is a potential replacement for Jimmy Johnson. I've been hearing this on YouTube. I've seen it on Facebook. I have, hell, I've even, I've seen it on Instagram. I've seen it everywhere. And that is Noah Gregson. Um, I say he stays in Xfinity with Junior Motorsports. Got to stay in that nine car. Um, I mean, you, you have to. He has to stay in that nine car. He's got one win. He's got a couple decent finishes, a couple impressive runs. That is not, in my opinion, not enough to justify bumping someone up. Um, especially to the 48 car. Uh, I say... I say Gregson stays with Junior Motorsports. I say he doesn't go anywhere. That was a really good choice for them to pull him up uh, and put him in that Junior Motorsports car. Uh, so we'll see how, kind of how that one evolves over. Next one, Justin Haley. He's a Cup Series winner, guys. Whether you like to admit it or not, with that rain shortened race at Daytona last year, he is still a Cup Series winner, so he has that to put on his resume. You don't get to be a Cup Series winner without putting yourself in the position to potentially take over. Uh, Obviously, that was Kurt Busch's mistake and his pick and his crew's mistake. Um, nonetheless, I don't see him really going anywhere. Uh, I say he probably stays at Kulig Racing for another year, with the with the potential to bump up into into the Cup Series. Um, he he's got a, he got a, he's got a decent resume for for his age and for his experience level. I'm not going to take that away from him. He's a good driver. Uh, I say give him a couple more years and you'll see a Cup Series regular there. Um, Riley Herbst. So, very competitive this week uh, at the beginning stages of that race at Darlington. Uh, very impressive. He's He's been out there. He's been impressive. Uh, but I say he stays at JGR. He's not going anywhere. Um, next one is going to be Brandon Jones. Again, here's one of those drivers where in my opinion, two wins. I'll never take that away from him. Never, never, never take that away from him. But uh, I don't see him going anywhere. I see him staying in Xfinity. Uh, his his dad's got the the, the Buku Bucks over at Ream. Um, I don't see him going anywhere. I don't see that sponsorship going anywhere. Um, he stays at JGR because he's got that fully funded car. Um, and he's slowly improving. I thought for a while he was the worst driver in the Cup Series. He couldn't score that, or not Cup Series, Xfinity Series. He could not score that win uh, to save his life for a long time, um, especially against the likes of his teammate Christopher Bell, um, Tyler Reddick, uh, and then obviously, um, I just can't, you know, Cole Custer. Um, I think he does improve. I think he does start getting landing a couple more wins. Unfortunately, it's drivers like that that 
again, I, I give them all the respect in the world, but unfortunately it's drivers like that where I just don't see them being the best to come up to Nat to Cup Series and then being super competitive. Um, that's why, you know, like Chase Briscoe, he was the second tier at Stuart Haas. Uh, uh, Austin Sindrick, again, second tier uh, over there at Penske. Do I, do, does that mean he can't, isn't improving? Does that mean he's not getting the experience and not moving up? No, he, clearly he's got a couple wins. He's done a very good job um, as of late, and I give him all the props in the world for that. Uh, but I see him staying at Xf in Xfinity at JGR. Uh, Joe Gibbs is not a dumb guy. He's not going to let that kind of sponsorship disappear. Um, next one I see, and this one, this is the last guy I want to talk about, and that's Ben Rhodes. So Ben Rhodes has run Xfinity races. Um, he's been in NASCAR since 2015. Um, you know, he, he's done a very good job. He has, he's got the win now. Uh, he's got the wins, I should say, plural. And the truck series, racing for Thor Sports. Um, we'll see. Um, I don't see him going anywhere. I say he stays at Thor Sports in the truck series. But after last year's really good uh, season, I see him potentially scoring a couple more Xfinity rides with the potential of going out and being competitive. Uh, he's a good driver. He has a lot of history. He's got a lot of experience. He just hasn't had the great timing and the great finishes to really justify bumping him up. So that's why, in my opinion, he stays um, with Thor Sports. Uh, I'm not going to really go too far into the truck series. There are some other drivers that I think can potentially come up and move up and be competitive. Uh, but I say it's a year or two before that happens. So... In my opinion, those are the guys in the Xfinity series that that I would keep an eye on. And honestly, like I said, nobody's really going anywhere. I don't see change. I don't see a lot of change, if any. And I could be a little wrong. I could be a little off on some of these. But um, I say the one that I could probably be the most incorrect about could be Noah Gregson. Um, you know, the a lot of drag, a lot of teams in the Cup series have history of trying to pull drivers from those two from the lower series way too early because they can get them really 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 cheap um, you know same thing kind of with Austin Sindrick I don't see Austin Sindrick leaving Penske really um, unless he's got some kind of killer offer somewhere else um, but yeah Noah, Noah Gregson I could see him potentially because he's kind of got that popular driver the, the experience to come up um and we, we've seen that happen time and time and time again in the in the lower series, getting pulled up by by field filler teams. So that's the one I personally would keep an eye on for uh, for the time being. But uh, I am going to do my next video. Like I said, the Cup Series is going to be the Cup Series video is going to be tagged in linked in right here. It'll probably take me a minute to do that. So if you watch this video and it's not there, I do apologize. I suck on computers. I, this is my first time doing the channel and learning how to do that stuff. Someone told me how to do it earlier. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Uh, please follow uh, all the fun stuff you do on, on, on YouTube. Uh, get in on the ground floor. Like I said, I am going to be getting new camera, uh, new microphone, and I covered up the diecast collection here. Let me know what you guys think about that. Would you prefer the flag, which I will straighten out? I will. I just kind of threw it up there. Uh, or do you prefer the diecast in the background? I do kind of want to elevate up a little bit more, though. Let me know what you guys think. I really do like hearing your guys' opinions. Um, and as with, especially with this video, I want to know what kind of topics you guys would like me to talk about next. I will always do the research for it. You don't have to, but if you want to give me your opinion on that as well. I will definitely throw that in here. Again, thanks New Jersey Diecast for the idea, and you guys have a great one, and thanks for watching 3 Wide.